In this video, I'm going to show you a great little base play out of U-Trips to be able to attack man and zone defenses in Madden 23. Now, if you would like to get my entire U-Trips or y off trips bats offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. It gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below. So why off trips Pats is found in the New England Patriots playbook as well as the Raiders playbook. I do think the Patriots is better just because I think it has a better bunch. I think it has better trips, uh, or not better trips, but same trips. And it's got, um, but I love the bunch with Pat Sale. I think Pat Sale is one of the most underrated plays in the game this year. Anyways, but you trips, you can run either one of those playbooks. Um, scat is the play that we're going to be coming out in. And we just want to make sure that our U trips or our trips is always to the wide side of the field. Now, what we're going to do here, what do I mean by wide side of the field? As you see here, if our trips, if our receivers are to the right, we want to make sure the ball is on the left hash. If the ball was on the right hash, you would notice that these receivers are significantly more condensed and there's not as much space to be able to attack the sideline. So we want to make sure that our trips is always to the wide side of the field. If for whatever reason the ball is on the right hash, we would want to flip the play. Okay. So the setup for this is fairly simple. Uh, we're going to be using this corner route, but we're going to turn it into a post. So we're going to motion this guy across the formation. We're going to streak our solo receiver. We're going to drag our tight end, and then we're going to block our running back. If you want to, if you want to put this backside guy on an in route, um, you can do that as well. What you'll see is against man to man, a couple things. First, this tight end drag is one of the best routes in the game. So please don't sleep on the tight end drag it gets a lot of things accomplished in this play and that's one of my favorite personal routes so we have this tight end drag uh the next thing is if it's one-on-one -on -one, you see here we can just kind of like throw that uh, in the seam. We have this seam streak. Um, you know, Madden 23 is definitely the year. I think I think this is the best, I believe personally, this is the best aggressive one-on-one -on -one catches I've ever been. So if you see one-on-one, -on -one, you want to try to put the ball, um, you know, throw the ball inside, free form inside or whatever. Do whatever you got to do to get that ball to that receiver in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, okay? I just wanted to quickly hit that. That's not the main route, but just know in, in Madden 23, I believe, is probably the year of the streak. You always want to have a streak if at all possible because if the defense is falling asleep and they're not going to defend that we can throw that with an inside pass lead a lot of times we'll be able to make a user catch and we'll be able to cut the ball off so i wanted you to see that just so that you're at least aware of the fact of why we put streaks on the field in man 23 i'll show you one more time just free form inside you see how i can throw that really easy okay so um, we have that route against man-to-man. -man. Now, the next thing that we have is this uh, in-route and post. This post is really powerful. Um, the streak is going to clear out any deep zone. The drag is going to take away the yellow zones, and we're going to throw a nice little D-line pick um, because the sheds in practice mode are insane. Let me show you it again here. But you see in this example, like this is probably the best coverage that they can have in the middle of the field, in my opinion, a cover one robber style coverage because they have a zone in the middle deep, they have man coverage, bracketing, and then they have a yellow zone in the middle of the field. You'll see that the drag will suck the yellow zone down into the right or to the left, and then that post comes in behind it. That little basic concept has been one of the best concepts in Madden for years. Um, and it is no different this year. I think it's actually significantly better because of how powerful these seam streaks are in this year's game. So that's going to give us something. So, again, they're going to have to choose. Are you going to guard the post or are you going to guard the drag? So in this example here, we're going to choose the post with our safety. So we're going to take our safety and we're going to choose the post just to kind of imagine the user choosing that route. What you'll see then happens is that this in route becomes a great little check down over the middle of the field. We have that in route coming across the middle that we can hit. If you leave this default route that he's on uh, in scat, this little default, like this used to be called a dragon route. I'm not sure if that's still what it's called. It's just essentially like a little rounded in route. This route can be good or bad sometimes. It just depends on the, I think depends on the change of direction of the receiver. But you saw right there him coming open late in the play. So you have, you know, two, basically what you have in this play is you have two check downs that are going to be really hard uh, for your opponent to defend. So we have that going for us, okay? So again, we'll show you here. Let me try to call the dogs off so we don't get screamed at. Um, 
you know, but again, you have a lot. Uh, with the running back, I like to keep the running back in for protection purposes. Uh, and then what you'll see here again, you see because we have good change of direction, this route is getting open every single time. If you have good change of direction, that route is really, really, really powerful against man-to-man. -man. If you're using big-bodied receivers like Mike Evans, for example, or in Mutt, Harold Carmichael, Calvin Johnson, you would want to leave them on the in – you would want to put them on an in route. Um, because if you don't, their change of direction is actually going to make that rounded route significantly worse. But there you see the drag against man as well. So the drag is a really powerful route. Um, you got to understand if we can get their user, if we can get their user to suck down to the drag, which is really easy to do in U trips, okay? Because you got to understand they're probably, if you think about the defensively, um, you know, you're probably going to get something, especially if they're playing coverage. Like this is their user. And just imagine he's going to suck down or he's going to be tempted to suck down to the, uh, to the tight end, okay? Um, he's going to try to, like, you know, lurk the tight end. Chances are. So if that's the case, then what you'll see with this is now, again, the whole middle of the field becomes wide open. So in, And we can leave the running back wheel if we want to. The running back wheel is actually not a bad route. You see here, sucks down to the to tight end, and now that comes open. Got to wait on him to clear that guy, but that comes open and behind him. So not only is this play good against man-to-man, -man, it's really good against zone, any zone. Um, it's actually really good. Uh, what you'll see against zone is this seam streak is really, really valuable. So on the snap of the ball, if you see zone, you're always looking at your seam streak first. If I can hit this right in that little alley, I'm going to throw that. And I'm going to I'm gonna be a little, especially if it's an early down position uh, situation, like maybe not third down, right? Maybe not fourth down, probably. Uh, but if I have the window to be able to try to put this ball up in the seam, I'm not. I'm going to be pretty liberal with it. I'm going to, you know, you're going to see right here. I'm going to free form inside, and I can cut that off. And a lot of times, that's going to be a catch. We're getting knocked out. I think partially just because of the ratings of the Chiefs receivers, but a lot of times that will be a catch. Um, so now they're going to have to play some variation of probably a cover four. And in that situation, then what we're able to do is again we're able to hit our post in behind the yellow zones in that soft spot against zone. So now the user is back in that same basic predic predicament that they were before, and they have to choose, am I going to guard the post or am I going to guard the tight end? If they choose to go with the post, which this is an example of them choosing to go with the post, then what you'll see is this tight end will be open right in that little area right there, and we can break a tackle a lot of times and get a nice little couple yards. This play is really, really, really good, really balanced play. Uh, I think it, it really fits well within the big picture of what U-Trips does, which is the motion snapping, the streaks, um, you know, and then if you can get a good change of direction receiver, that route on the right becomes one of the best routes in the game. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon, and it gets you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. As of today, there's 15, and we're planning to release one uh, later today, maybe first thing in the morning, for our 16th ebook of the year. If you guys want to check out, again, you get access to all of it by becoming a member today. $10 gets you access to everything. If you want to sign up for it, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.